Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share crochet patterns, tutorials, and inspiration. A few years ago, someone reached out for a custom order for this Amigurumi Crow from a popular manga and anime series. Since then, the pattern has been a favorite on my Etsy shop and on my blog. And now and then I get questions about the pattern and so I thought, you know what, maybe I should do a video tutorial about this pattern. The original Amigurumi was made with worsted weight yarn, but I thought for this tutorial, why not make it with super bulky yarn and a bigger hook to see how it turns out. To make the hair, we're going to start with a magic ring and we'll just increase until we have 42 stitches and then we'll start making all the points that will create the hair. So start with a magic ring and work six single crochet into the magic ring. And then we continue. So now we're going to increase in each stitch so that we have 12 stitches at the end of the round. Okay, so now the next round, increase and then single crochet into the next two stitches. Next round is going to be 30, so again, just continuing along to increase and then single crochet into the next three stitches.
So for round six, I will increase and then single crochet into the next four stitches. And then in round seven, single crochet into the next five stitches after my increase. Okay, so here I've just finished round seven and I have my 42 stitches. I'm not going to fasten off because now we're going to start making the hair to do that. And this is going to be up to your own preference. You can follow what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this very randomly or as randomly as possible. Basically, we're going to chain six for the first one. This is just an example. going to slip stitch into the second chain and then I'm going to half double crochet into the next chain double crochet into the next one Triple crochet into the next chain. And so you can see here we've got a triangle. So I'm going to now align it. So I'm going to skip a few stitches and then join here. I think that looks about right. I'm going to slip stitch here. So I've got my first little hair spoke and I'm going to continue doing that and I'll probably do, you know, maybe shorter ones. I'll do the another triangle in this one. Again, I'm going to start with a chain of six and in this one I'm going to slip stitch again into the into the second chain. I think you always want to slip stitch into that second chain just to give it more of a point. I'm going to single crochet in the next chain. So if you recall from the first spoke, I did a half double crochet into the chain after the slip stitch. In this one, it's a single crochet. And then I'll do a half double crochet in the next one. A double crochet. And this one I'm going to do a double crochet in the next two chains. And again, just like with this first bit of hair, I'm going to go back to the base. And for this one, I'm going to skip, I think, two stitches and slip stitch into the next stitch. So we have two, two bits of hair. So you can see this one's a bit wider because it has the, um, the triple crochet. And then this one's a bit narrower because we have a double crochet instead. So I'm going to continue doing that doing my chain six and for this one I will do a wider one again 
I might just alternate just to make things easy. So slip stitch first and then half double crochet into the next chain. Then a double. We'll do a triple. And actually in the example I have in the pattern, uh, it was supposed to be a double triple crochet in, the, in this first one. So let's do that. This one we will skip four and slip stitch into the next one. And I'll keep doing this all the way around. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of the hair piece and I'm just gonna finish off by making the last hair spoke. So this one's gonna be a narrow one because uh, there's only a small amount of space left here. I'll make my six chains and for this one I'll do single crochet and then half double crochet and because I think yeah I think I'll, I have enough space for a double crochet so finish off with a double crochet here and then now I'll just slip stitch. Now I'm, I'm gonna leave a long tail so that I can sew this onto the body. But you'll notice, you know, there's there's pretty big gaps, but don't worry so much about that because as I sew it, I'm also going to sew these gaps closed, so you won't be able to see them. But here's what the hair piece looks like once it's done. Okay, so I'm going to work on the beak and I'm actually going to switch to a smaller hook. I'm gonna use a seven millimeter hook for this. And to start, I'm going to make four single crochet into a magic ring. For the next round, I'm going to do a single crochet and then an increase and do that two times so that I will have six stitches at the end of the round. Okay, so for round three, I will do the same thing, except I'm going to repeat that three times so at the end I have nine stitches. That is the beak, and so I'm gonna leave a long tail so that I can sew it onto the body. I'm going to make the legs now, and in the original pattern I used gray yarn, but I don't have gray yarn in this chunky yarn, so I'm gonna use this sort of tan color to make them. For the feet, I'm going to also use the smaller seven millimeter hook and to start I'm going to chain 11. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and into the next four stitches. Okay. 
And now to make the next, I guess you would call them toes. <laughs> so for the next toe, I am going to chain five and I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain and into the next three chains. And I'm gonna do that again, so another chain five. All right, so now that we have our, our three toes, I'm going to go back to that original chain that I started with, and I'm going to slip stitch back down the rest of these chains here. Okay, so <laughs> there's our foot. Uh, wow, this actually looks like a chicken leg, <laughs> strangely enough. Um, okay, so I've got my first one and I'm gonna make the second one off camera and I'll leave a long tail so that I can sew these onto the body later. Okay, let us work on the wings next. So for the wings, we'll be making two wings, of course. And for this, we're gonna start with a magic ring and we'll work six single crochet into the magic ring. And I try to tighten as I go along, just not all the way of course because I'm still working stitches into the center but it does help to add the stitches when it's tighter and also so I don't lose sight of, of the tail. Okay, now we tighten the magic ring. And next we're going to increase in every stitch so we will have 12 stitches at the end. For round three, we're going to increase again, but this time we're only gonna be increasing by four. So what we'll do is we'll single crochet into the next two stitches and then increase into the next stitch. And we'll repeat that around four times in total for a total of 16 stitches at the end of the round. This is round four, and we're going to decrease back down to 12 stitches. So I'm going to start with a decrease, and you can definitely do uh, an invisible decrease if you prefer, uh, but this is just, this is my preferred way of, of decreasing, is just doing a single crochet two together. And then we're going to single crochet into the next four stitches, and then we're going to decrease twice, First decrease. And then single crochet into the next four stitches. And finish off with a decrease in the last two stitches. 
Now we're just going to work even. For round six, we'll do another decrease round, and this time we'll decrease by four. So at the end, we will have eight stitches. So we'll start with a decrease, and then a single crochet into the next stitch, and we'll repeat that a total of four times around. And then in the last round, we're going to decrease four times. And so you'll note that I am not stuffing the wings because uh, otherwise they would just look like little balloons and we want them to sort of lay sort of flat on the body. But if you do want to stuff them, you can definitely do that. All right, so here is the wing and I'm gonna work on the other wing off camera and then get started on the body. So I had just started the time lapse and remembered that I wanted to work the hook through under instead of yarn over doing a yarn under. So usually, you know, we do a yarn over, but in this case, I'm actually going to do a yarn under. It just makes the stitches a bit tighter and it does take some getting used to, which is why I forgot I had started crocheting along, merrily along, and remembered that I wanted to do a yarn under. Just because for the body, I want to minimize as much as possible any gaps in the fabric so that when I go to stuff it, you won't see the stuffing and it'll just be a lot denser. So I will continue working like this, doing the yarn under instead of yarn over. And hopefully I will remember to keep doing that. Okay, so I'm going to get started on the body and the body is worked from the bottom up and of course we're going to start with a magic ring as we have done before. I'm not going to go through all of the different steps because I think you've seen me making a magic ring and, and working the, the starting rounds enough times by now. So in the next round, I'm going to single crochet into the next 18 stitches and then I will decrease at the end and I'll do that three times and at the end I will have 57 stitches. Okay, so here is the end of the round and I have 57 stitches now. So I'm going to do the same thing in the, the next decrease round. So I will work on that and I will see you back here at the end of that round. For the next uh, two rounds, I will be decreasing by six. So in the next one, I'm going to start it off. Uh, I will be doing a single crochet into the next seven stitches and then I will decrease and then I will repeat that around five more times, total of six times, and I will have 48 stitches at the end of the round. So in this round, I will single crochet in the next six stitches and then I will decrease. And just like the previous round, I will repeat that around until I have 42 stitches. So now for the next round, it's not going to be uh, decreasing by six. It's going to be three times that I'm going to decrease. So at the end of the round, I'm going to have 39 stitches. So I'm going to single crochet into the next 12 stitches and then I will decrease. For the next round, I will single crochet in the next 11 stitches and then decrease. And I will do that three times. So I will have 36 stitches at the end of the round. 
All right, so this is what the body looks like after my last decrease and if I have 36 stitches at this point and the next round is a work even round, but I'm actually going to pause here because I'm going to work on the eyes. In the original pattern, I would be attaching safety eyes to the body at this point, but I don't have eyes that are big enough for this project. So I'm actually going to crochet myself some white eyes with a much finer yarn and a smaller hook. And I'm using a size three millimeter crochet hook and friends cotton from Hobby. And it's a super fine weight cotton yarn. So I'm going to start with 12 single crochet in in a magic ring. I'm going to increase six times. So I'm going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and then increase into the next so that I have 18 stitches at the end of the round. So I think that looks pretty good. And I will make the next eye off camera and then I can attach them onto the body. I have just finished the work even round and I'm going to start to stuff the body. So in the original pattern, this is at the this is the point where we would be attaching the safety eyes and we would start to stuff the body, but I've already done that, yay. So now I'm just going to start to stuff and I'm going to fluff out the stuffing first before I put it in. Fill in, not all the way because we still have a few more rounds to go, but just enough to get this started because it will get a little bit more challenging to put in once we have decreased and there's not as much space to put the stuffing in. So as I started to stuff the body, I'm actually thinking I sew the wings and the legs on before I finish stuffing just while I, I still have the ability to, to sew in from the inside of the body. So I'm just going to do that. So I've got my wings and the legs. So I'm gonna sew those on. So the placement of the wings, I mean, this will be entirely up to you when you make your bird. I'm gonna go same round as the eyes. And I'm thinking, let's say one, two, three, four, five, five or six stitches away from the eyes. Just wanna flatten the wing a little bit so it's easier to work with as well. And I am sewing through both layers of the wings. I feel like it'll be a little bit too floppy and I do want the wings to stay very securely in place. I mean, you can also completely sew it onto the body, but I, I do still want the ability to flap the wings. So I am also just I'm bringing up the needle up through here, through the body like this, and then just grabbing the stitch and just going all the way through. Okay, so the feet sort of aligning with the eyes, right? So like here, and this is about fourth round. That's where I'm going to attach the feet.
I want the feet basically so that when it's sitting, like you can see the feet poking out. So I'm just sewing it so that the toes are, are left hanging, but the actual leg or uh, foot part, I'm sewing onto the body to secure it in place. Here I'm just gonna tie a knot with the two ends from the leg, from the feet. And I'm just, I'm just tying a very basic knot just to secure it in place. I'm going to continue decreasing. I'm going to single crochet into the next four stitches and then decrease. And I will have a total of 30 stitches at the end of the round. So in this next one, I will single crochet into the next three stitches and then decrease. And I'll do that six times. So I'll have a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. The next round it is single crochet into the next two stitches and then a decrease and I'll have a total of 18 stitches at the end. So now I'm just gonna add some more stuffing while I still have a chance. Okay last two rows and we're going to decrease in the next one it's going to be one single crochet into the next stitch and then a decrease and we'll do that six times for a total of 12 stitches at the end final round just going to decrease six times And I'm just going to sew the opening closed completely. Okay. The body is done. Look how cute he is. Oh my God. Okay, let's attach the hair. And I'm just trying to see where I want to put it. Looks like kind of like a little hat. This looks pretty cute like that. And I think I'm actually going to use the tail end here just to put it through through the top of the head just to secure that in place like so and then that'll just hold it in place as I'm sewing. When I'm sewing on the hair, I do want some of the spokes to kind of curl a little bit so it does still look a bit like hair. So I'm not going to sew them all the way down. Definitely make sure that these gaps are sewed on. So I'm just going to start sewing and I'll pick up a stitch on the body like so. And then I'm going to grab a stitch from the main circle and then onto one of the spokes and also grab a bit of the body and then grab a bit of the spoke and the main circle and the body and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around but uh, because I still do want the hair to lay flat a little bit in some places I'm gonna go and grab some of the sides here and just sew this down a little bit and then pull up the needle into the next and then just repeat that around Yeah. 
Okay, this is ridiculously cute. I cannot get over how hefty he turned out. Like, he's actually pretty heavy. And I know part of it is all the stuffing that I had to use, but also the yarn, the super bulky yarn really adds weight to it. He's a lot bigger than the original size. And I just, I love everything. Look at his the little legs. <laughs> And I'm actually pretty happy with how the eyes turned out. And this is now the third Amigurumi design that I have recreated with super bulky yarn. And I don't think I can stop now. I have so many other Amigurumi patterns that I've made over the years that I think need to be chunkified. So if you've been following me on my Instagram and on my blog over the years, and you have seen a previous design of mine that you would want to see supersized next, let me know. Tell me in the comments which one I should do. As always, I would love to know what you thought about this video. And if you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who you think would like to make this Amigurumi Crow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.